to all of you today in this my video discussion i will discuss about hplc it mean high performance liquid chromatography so this lecture is about the instrumentation and methodology so various type of the method methodological techniques used in the science for the separation of the various type of biomolecules also detecting the nature's particle size and molecular weight of them so hplc is one of them technique it is a chromatographical analysis if i talk about its principle the basic idea behind it is the paper chromatography it is type of column chromatography and it is a basic type of technique used in chromatography if i talk about the paper chromatography what we do we apply the sample on the bottman filter paper and we dip it in the solvent that is the mobile phase what does then happen the mobile phase that is the solvent run in the capillaries in the bottman filter paper and the sample also run along with it and the various type of colors are seen c1 c2 c3 c4 suppose these are color and number of the colors appearing after the separation determine the number of the molecules in the mixture here we use this principle in the hplc but if i talk about the excess of the sample here occur the back pressure that disturb the flow so it affect the result so here we apply the high pressure to overcome this difficulty next hplc is very efficient technique specific method for separation of biomolecules it is faster method than other techniques here we use the pressure pump for running the solvent and the solute that is analyte that is to be separated and it is done very high speed it is an automated well equipped device for the separation so it is mostly recommended method for the separation in day to day life next is the steps in the hplc here we discuss about the column packing mobile phase and pump application of the sample detector recorder and sample collector column packing in the column is related with the stationary phase and the mobile thing the solvent solute are the mobile phase so stationary phase and mobile phase are very important consideration in the chromatographical analysis here is a brief review view about the principle for the hplc here the particle size is main stationary phase that can withstand the pressure so the particle size of the stationary phase the particle which are embedded in the column their size matters and the pressure that we apply through the pump increases the flow so it is advanced technique for the separation of macromolecule by the high pressure pump it overcome the problem of back pressure as we see in the column chromatography the capillary pores are occupied by the uh, excess of the sample and the back pressure occur and the result is disturbed so the macro microprocessor are also used and they allow the control flow and efficient detection of the molecule by the various type of the detector by the uv ir and spectrophotometers so it can detect even single atom or single molecule that is to be separated next is the column column is a stationary phase and it is made up of the stainless steel so stainless steel is very solid alloy and it can withstand the pressure 5.5 10 to power 7 pascal having the length 15 to 50 cm and diameter 1 to 4 mm 
microbore column are also embedded in it and they are internally implanted here and having a diameter 1 to 2 millimeter and length 25 centimeter and they can sustain this much of the pressure this is about principle and the column packing of chromatography the west column are precision bore so precision accuracy is done for the bore formation so with the internal mirror finish allow the efficient packing or in the inner side of the column the mirror are finished uh, done packing by the mirror in the interior side and they allow the packing efficiently and homogeneous way the porous plug of stainless steel or the teflon are used in the end of column to retain the packing material so in the end we use the teflon that withstand the pressure of the column and we can apply the lid over it next the matrices and the stationary phase here are three method that is a microporous port peculous port and bonded phase in the microporous the micropore are formed and having one as uh, 5 to 10 micrometer diameter peculous port has 40 micrometer diameter and they are coated with the inert gases bonded phase there are the chemically bonded substance most commonly used that is a sulfur uh, silicon dioxide and it increase the polarity silicon dioxide increase the polarity of the sample I hope this is clear to you next is the column packing so specific material is used here for the column packing it depend on the nature of the packing material and dimension of the particle so it is densely done densely packed so column separation uh, packing should not be loosely held it should be densely packing mobile phase and pump the pressure pump are used here for the fast flow of eluent eluent that is a solvent that run along with the solute the solvent may be organic or inorganic or it may be the mixture of the both and the choice of the solvent depend on the what we are actually separating if we are separating the polar substance we need to add the more polar solvent if we are separating the non-polar we need to use the non-polar solvent we can use a mixture also most commonly use are water ACN and ethanol as a solvent next is the application of sample so it is very main step it is done by the micro syringe next there are the detector they can detect the molecule separating so detector here are the fluorescent detector UV detector and infrared detector next is the block diagram of the HPLC apparatus here is the solvent reservoir solvent is filled in a beaker so it is reservoir it is held through a pipe with a high pressure pump the high pressure pump send the solvent with high speed here in the middle side there is a sample injection loop that inject the sample so we run the solvent and they inject the sample and the solvent is run into the column the column is packed with the densely packed material that i have discussed earlier then the sample and so, uh, <laughs> solvent run parallelly and they pass through the detector so the detector detect the molecules and after detecting they are sent in the sample collector here the actually separated sample is collected the detector send its recording to the recorder and it is automated computerized device here we have PC and screen that record the result and we have the chromatogram so chromatogram is from in the form of the peak the peak of different length and broadening it did, uh, tell us about how the concentration of particle is and the, what is the nature of the particle so for different type of molecules different type of peaks are seen these are the component of the HPLC apparatus next there is the pumping system that pump the solvent into the column so here is first is the constant displacement pump so here is the inlet 
that is held to the reservoir of the solvent then is outlet that send the solvent to the column here the piston system uh, driven by the motor having the pulley and belt so what is its purpose when the motor is down stroke then the piston come down the outlet valve is closed here this valve is closed and the inlet valve open inlet valve is opening allowing the entry of the sample uh, solvent and the eluent to the pump chamber is filled here the solvent is filled then in the up stroke reverse occur this is closed and this is open and the collected solvent here is sent to the outlet valve and then to the column this is actually what happened through the pump next type of version is the reciprocating type of the pump here what occur here it is cam type of the machine used that are not actually joined by the belt here the pressure on the one component down pull other and the low pressure uplift other so here the basis on the weight on the previous component uplift or downlift the upcoming component here the piston up and down have the same mechanism and it allow the solvent the entry to the column here is the piston position of the various type of ports means in the loading position and the injecting position HPLC loop injector these are the injector so loop is loaded first is the loading state what occurs the port number 3 here we inject the syringe when we are injecting the sample we have to set our setting on the loading position this is the main point to be remembered then what happens here we inject the sample and from port number 1 the event that is the solvent is pumped here and it is sent to port number 2 and then to the column the excess of the solvent is drained into the waste container by the port number 5 and the 6 and the second is the injecting loop here the event flow from 1 to 6 then 3 to 2 to the column and 5 and 4 are containing the excess of the solvent as the waste I hope it's clear to you in the last there is the application so for the SPLC first it is speedy method vastly recommended method and it is sensitive technique as we have used here the detector separation of the macromolecule occur that is the oligopeptide protein and the microbe culture product the microbe we use their various microbe for culture of the various type of component such as vitamin protein mm, uh, lipids enzyme and hormone and they are collected and separated with the help of HPLC I hope it is clear to you if you have any query related to my discussion you can comment in comment box if you like my ch uh, channel like this videos subscribe my channel and share this among the science student here I have also tried to add animated video I hope you will like in the end of this video thank you very much and have a wonderful day